Ciao guys, Terry Wood here. So Oculus came out with something very interesting yesterday that is called Deep Focus and it's actually a new way to make VR much more realistic and much more like lifelike. So uh, let's get to it and let's put a focus on this Deep Focus where the focus is like to the focus. Okay, so here we are. This is a very interesting technology. Of course, we are a tech channel, so we have to cover it. And uh, that's actually a software technology that they're adding and they're gonna add to the future like VR. And it's gonna be pretty much open to everybody because it's gonna also be open source. So good job on that, Oculus. By the way, let's talk about it and why it's so interesting. Well, so first of all, we have to talk about the fact that we already seen a demo uh, back then with the Half Dome, that is this prototype that Oculus did with the wider FOV, more resolution, and of course the very focus where the screen were actually on two rails and they're moving up and down to emulate pretty much what were the focus of your real eyes. Because what Oculus tried to combat over here is the problem that we have in VR that is eye strain, where your eyes they get very tired after a while of using, even if you many times you don't even realize, they just use much more energy than what they should do and probably it's not gonna be good for vision if you keep using and using it forever and forever. So one of the most important thing that they're trying to do is to make, of course, everything more enjoyable because you don't have eye strain and at the same time more realistic using what is the defocus that is actually how your eyes actually work so they're trying to emulate exactly how our vision works so the rule number one at the end is what you're looking at it's gonna be on focus and the background everything else will be blurred of course in different way it really depends on like how distance is that from uh, the, the point of focus and that's actually how cinematography works how like a camera works the same camera I'm using right now as you can see I'm on focus I should be at least and the background is not on focus so you're not gonna be able to read the article from oculus over here even if it's the screen because the focus is directly on me and that's like the F in the cameras and that's what they're trying to emulate pretty much because our eyes of course works like that because the camera are trying to emulate how our eyes work so pretty much is like that because if you think about it right now the screen are not really having different focus yes you can focus on something but the thing and background will be always on focus and even if you don't realize your eyes are gonna get eye strain they're gonna get tired because they're always gonna try to focus on everything that is on focus because our vision our brain doesn't really work like that. Now, what they noticed so far is that there wasn't enough anyway to just blur something and they had really to move this screen to make it more enjoyable. And then even moving the screen, they realized that wasn't really so believable because it was impossible to get the focus really on any different object but the focus was like pretty much on like I'm focusing on that one and focusing on this one focusing on that one and focusing on this one and uh, there were just pretty much two way to focus and that's it so they had to come out with something different also for the fact that the demo that we saw with the Elf Dome that was super nice actually was the demo made for it very easy demo and it was using a lot of computing power because every frame has to be rendered 32 times to understand the distance of the object and give of course the reaction of the focus because of that so like something that is not really viable also for all the developers because they should like uh, reprograms everything like put code on with the distance of everything and something so it wasn't the way to go so what they think about was to use deep learning to understand when to blur something how to blur something and the major speed without latency and without impacting so much the GPU and they actually did it they created pretty much an image to teach the AI to understand what the focus and that's very interesting because it's like a mashup of like different images everywhere and the AI understand the focus and the focus not just from the distance that usually use a math and they use a computing power to do that but for like how the shadow is casted from one to the other like uh, the pixel close to the other so many stuff that we don't even have an idea and in this way they were able to do it in real time and being able to support it in every game on the market and that's pretty impressive but now do we have to like scream to like a yell and say yeah we did it no actually no it's not something that we're gonna see pretty soon it's something that 
needs a lot of work actually still and we're not gonna see it very very soon because it needs hardware more hardware and needs more software of course because actually they were able to use it in the regular games on the oculus store by well they needed four GPUs to do that and that's a really viable way right now to have four GPUs like not everybody has one uh, why they should have four and also you have to teach like the game to use four GPUs in different way to like rasterize all the work so like uh, just something that is not possible for a consumer market so what they're going to do of course now is to focus on make it possible on a single graphic card we're gonna need probably more powerful graphic card and for that there's gonna be time because we saw already that the jump from like the 1080 to the 2080 wasn't like really so much but by the way that's another story also the fact that other technology they have to be integrated in our vr system because of course we're gonna need a tracking most probably even if they don't mention it in the in the article because how are you going to be able to understand where you're looking at if you don't have a tracking like sometimes i keep something here but i'm watching there and there's not really that in the eye you can understand directly so you need a tracking to understand exactly and precisely where the focus in and where do you want to focus to make also more realistic everything and then i tracking will be able to help also probably with the rendering part where you're going to be able to just put the focus and decrease the pixel intensity of the part not in focus we saw also something like that similar um very interesting actually at oc5 when they were like telling us to focus on a part of the picture and then they were replacing like the part external part that was actually rendered with the 15 percent of pixel that is pretty much nothing with like ai processed and created other pixel and everything was looking realistic and totally believable so that's something that they can add to it and make it like even easier for the gpu and for our future system to use now the nice thing as i said that this is open source so we're going to be able to use it like in all the future vr headset and in all the games because developers are not going to have to touch the code and do anything different to let it use and i think that that's in a great great addition to VR because many times we focus just on increasing resolution, increasing like uh, something else, but we forget that one of the most important thing is actually how much we want to spend inside, how comfortable it's going to be, how realistic it's going to be. Anyway, guys, that was all. I hope I was good to explain everything. But if you want more details, of course, directly for them, it's going to be in the link below, all the link to the page. So you're going to be able to browse it and read it all. And it's very, very interesting. So I really suggest it. But anyway, guys, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech. I see you guys next video. It's going to be very, very interesting, actually. And uh, thanks for watching. Ciao!